All right, in a game situation, there's going to be plenty of opportunities where you have to shoot through a screen, okay, or you have to shoot through a defender coming out to block the shot. Now, it's really, really important to understand that, you know, getting that shot to the net is the most important thing that you can do in that situation, not getting that shot blocked. A lot of times also I see players, just because they have a defender coming on them, they don't shoot the puck. They hold on to the puck or they try to force a pass. All right? Understanding how you can shoot through screens and being successful with that will give you more confidence in those situations to shoot the puck and you want to be shooting the puck in those situations because A, you're using the defender as a screen for the goalie. Okay. B, you're not trying to force a play that you know potentially is not there and you're getting a turnover because of the fact that you don't like to shoot because you think you have a player on you so you can't shoot. No, you can shoot through a screen, it's no problem. Okay, the key is, you know, we'll just do, we'll just do a couple examples here. You know, let's just say you're in the middle of the rink. All right, so you get a puck, you get a pass right in here. All right, you have a defender coming on you. Okay, one of the keys is, <clears throat> When he's on you and he's close, you're not looking at the net. You're not looking at the goalie. You're just knowing where your angle is, where you need to shoot to hit the net. And then you want to just find a hole in that defender that you're going to shoot through. Okay? So typically, a good defender is going to have a stick right on the ice, right in line with your puck. So if you shoot it right on the ice, he's going to deflect it up. So you want to make sure it's a few inches off the ice. Next, you have to think, does he have his uh, pads together? All right, his legs together so his shin pads are together and then you're going to want to move to the right or the left of them and make sure your shot's going just to the right or the left of those pads. Secondly, you don't want to be shooting too high because from their, uh, the hockey pants on up, everything's covered. There's no holes from the hockey pants on up. All right, so if you're shooting from the hockey pants up and you're shooting high, that, pluck, that, that shot's going to get blocked every time. Okay, and the last thing to read is if that player is going down or not. So if you see him about to lay down and he's leaning like he's going to go down, that's when you want to pull that puck in and get a quick shot and move the angle of your shot because you don't want to just fire a low shot three inches if he's going down. So again, that's why we're not looking down at the puck. That's why we're not looking at the goalie. We're looking at that defender coming on you so you can see if he's going to lay down for the shot, what his pads are like, and you got to make that decision a split decision. Okay, now if he's not that close to you and he's a little bit farther back and you have possession of the puck here, more than likely they're not going to be laying down for a shot there because they're going to be so far back. So there, you're going to have a lot more opportunity to shoot. Again, you want to find that lane, you want to get that shot to the net, hard, quick shot. Don't wait for them to come all the way out thinking that you're going to be able to you know, drop a shoulder and get them to, to, to fall and, and uh, try to lay down and block the shot and go around them. The key here is when they're back, you, know, you're taking a, you can even take a step one direction or the other here. In this situation, you want to take a step to the middle because you want to get a better scoring opportunity. Quick step and shoot. Quick step and shoot. Don't take your time with this. This comes back to the quick decisions that we're, we're always talking about. All right. Defensively, if you have a forward on you, all right, so defensively you get the puck here, all right, and you have a forward coming on you, same thing. If that forward is close, forward is close, we're just going to find that, that shooting lane through his pads and getting a quick snapshot on net, okay? We're not going to try to, you know, we're not going to try to do anything fancy here. He's on you, you got pressure on you. Farther back. Okay, now you have a little bit of more opportunity to make that quick play, maybe step to the middle and get a shot, okay? And you have a little bit better opportunity here with the forward a little bit farther back, all right? And we'll go over some of that more in our forward training and our defensive training in this, in this program. But the key here is when you're shooting through screens, you want to find the hole within the defender coming on you and shooting through that hole. You're not looking at the net. You're not shooting high. You're finding the hole between the shin pads down knowing if they're close to you, if they're going to drop or not, looking at, looking at that direct person coming on you and being able to read that situation quickly and then making the play. Your best opportunity here to get a shot to the net is a quick shot. All right, quick low shot, finding the hole either between the legs or to the right or to the left of the shin pads. All right, next best opportunity is you have a little bit more time. You're either going to pull and shoot or push and shoot. So that way you're creating a better angle for yourself. All right. Third option is as you, as you start to get more confidence, you start to get a lot more shots to the net and you have a little bit more poise, all right? 
Only do this after you start to build confidence, but you're looking for that guy, whether, whether uh, they're gonna lay down and try to block the shot or go down on a knee and try to block the shot, okay? So if they're getting up close to you and you see them starting to move down, that's when you're just gonna hold on to that puck for a split second longer, all right? And see if you can't pull it around. And if they end up not going down, you don't wanna take any chances, just dump it in down low, all right? So that's as you start to build a little bit more confidence, those are your options. This is how you shoot through a screen. 